Have you ever kicked your tripod and your camera fell down to the ground? Yes, it happened to me. I also broke this filter. This different filter cost me 150 euros and I just bought it two months ago. So not great. I don't want to waste you any time. So if you just want to skip to the part where I've repaired the monitor, go to this timestamp. I thought I only broke the filter and I tried turning on my monitor, but it didn't work. This is the monitor, this is a Fuel World Master. This monitor is three years old and it still runs on Amazon. It's 190 euros. The camera is fine, by the way, uh, but for a whole day I just felt really bad. It's just gear, but it's just really annoying. I didn't secure my tripod and this is a very tight space and I just kicked it with my foot unintentionally obviously. At least as you will see fixing it was extremely simple uh, thanks to customer support. So this is a very good and cheap monitor. Lately I've been using it to check my image on an anamorphic lens. If you want to buy one though I would recommend checking other field world monitors. They're very cheap but I think for the same price there might be something better now, something more new. When it turns on, it gives you the blue screen with the Field World logo on it. But when I did it after my camera fell, it just, I could see just the black, not perfect black. So you could see that the screen was turning on, but no logo or nothing appeared on it. I tried connecting the HDMI to my computer just to make sure it wasn't my camera. And I contacted customer support, just knowing that they would just tell me just buy a new one or something like that, because yeah, there's nothing we can do. They told me how to repair it and I gave it a shot. I'm making this video so that maybe other people can repair this if they have the same issue. And I also want to acknowledge that they tried to help me without expecting anything in return. So they told me to open the unit and find the cables connected in the motherboard in the screen, unplug the cables and reconnect them firmly. And I did it and it worked. Let me show you how. I'm first going to loosen these four regular Phillips screws. And you may have a quarter inch adapter on one side or no adapter at all. I had to cut through this warranty seal. And then I carefully pried open the plastic casing, taking care not to break it. I noticed a flat cable running from the LCD screen to the motherboard secured with a strip of black tape. I gently removed the tape and keeping it for later and discovered that the ribbon cable had become detached from the motherboard. I carefully realigned the ribbon cable and gently plugged it back into the motherboard. This issue could easily occur if the monitor takes the heat, which is why I think it's important to share this fix. It was now a time for a test run. I connected the power adapter and the monitor part on immediately. Hey. Yeah, success! After disconnecting the power, I replaced the black tape over the cable, reassembled the monitor, and made sure to check the HDMI connection with my computer. And there was my channel's logo, crisp and clear on the screen. Yeah, that's it. I hope this was helpful for you. Uh, thank you for watching and see you on the next one.